Alright guys, hey, welcome back to part 2 of the Elite Four. Not part 3 like I had originally planned, because Bruno was easy, and that's going to blend into part 1. So here we are. We are in the graveyard section. Here's Agatha. She's got some ghost types and some poison types. Primarily poison. Primarily poison, because the ghosts are ghost poison. And then she's got a Golbat and an Arbok, both poison types. So it's weird how she's like the ghost trainer, but she actually kind of uses poison type Pokemon. Because I guess they couldn't make a whole team of Gengars and Haunters. That'd be boring. So they had to throw in two other Pokemon, but, well, jeez. Here we go. Agatha, the old crazy lady with the Gengar, level 56. And we got Marcel for this. Oh, Gengar is faster. This is terrifying. I was not expecting that. Come on, break through Marcel. Thank God you got low attack. Nightshade, okay, that's gonna be dealing 56 damage, so we can live. Yes, we can live one more. Confuse no more. Land that psychic, and this should be the end of Gengar. Nope. Oh, and then, yeah, now your special fails. So that's actually. Okay, you're gonna go for the light. Uh, confuse, confuse Ray again. This isn't good, this isn't good. Break through, Marcel, break through. That's not what I need, because now, now my shade will kill. Okay, I have a plan. We're going to have to switch up to Sting here. Ooh, I was not expecting Hypnosis. Okay. I got the Pokey food for that. So it's all good. Infinite Awakenings. Oh, that Super Potion is not going to save you. We have Earthquake. Wow. Nido King outspeeds Gengar, but Marcel doesn't. They must have been really close. Alright. Down goes the first Gengar. Getting that experience. Now she's gonna send out Golbat. So like I said, poor Golbat. Jetson's coming in for a later point, where he's gonna start just sweeping everybody, because that is why he's on the team. Why are they all faster than me and go for Supersonic or Confuse Ray? Jetson's never confused? What are you talking about? We got this. Critical hit, Ice Beam. Down goes Golbat. What do we got next? We got a Haunter. Marcel, you're a little injured, so Sting, you're gonna have to be taken over in this. Uh, so yeah, I think Sting can actually... I think Sting can take on the rest of the, the, her team. As long as Earthquake Okos, we're in business. Okay, one down, one down. Not bad, that was a level 55 Haunter, as you guys saw. Up next is a level 56 Arbok, which we should be okay with. If it's not faster, it's not faster. Nido King is a speedy, speedy Nido King. Oh, 58. Whoa, okay. Wow. Um, Online got that wrong. And Gengar. Online says 60. But how powerful is it really? No, oh, I got that one, right? You can't poison me, I'm poison type. Poise that move, get hit by this critical critical earthquake. Oko Gengar. Oh no, it's just gonna It's just gonna Oko. Wow, Sorry about that, guys. There was a little bit of a Facebook notification that kind of just popped in here. Let me see if I can just move my screen. Nope, because it's going to do that. Alright. I guess we can't move it. Because people on Facebook are just going to have to relax for a little bit. But with that, Agatha is down. Run along. Run along now, child. Alright, so what we're going to do... Definitely healing up Marcel. Because Marcel was a bit more useless than I was hoping he would be. And up first, we are leading the battle off against Lance with this automatic walking section. This is not me controlling. Because if it was me, I would have hugged, hugged the wall a little closer and then had to step around the statue. Because I can't walk. So here we are. We have Lance, who leads the Elite Four, the Dragon Trainer. 
and they're actually not mythical Pokemon anymore because mythical Pokemon is actually cons uh, some of the legendaries are considered a new breed of mythical type Pokemon, as I found out today. Um, so yeah, interesting. So dragons, unless they're legendary dragons, they might not be considered mythical anymore. I think dragon types are just considered mythical, or not mythical now, they're just considered dragon types. Anyway, Lance, he wants to fight me. He's got a Gyarados. Now the reason we're a level 58 Gyarados, oh jeez. Um, the reason we want to start off with Sting is hopefully the luck we've had with Fire Blast and, um, that other move I learned, used that I could have missed. Hydro Pump, that was it. Yeah, Fire Blast can hit and Hydro Pump can hit. This means Thunder should hit. Oh my god. We've been blessed, guys. Oh my god. Low accuracy moves are hitting. That should be the end of Gyarados. See, I thought Sting was going to be a weak point, but Sting's actually coming handy. He's now level 56, guys. He's now joint second highest. He's got 128 speed. Wow. Alright, he is fast. Alright, Dragonair. We got Jetsum for this. Let's do this. Ice Beam. Bye bye. What do you got next? Another Dragonair. Let's go for Ice Beam. Again, because why not? So he's got two Dragonairs, both level 56, but as you saw, they are pretty easy if you've got anything with a nice type move. So you've got Aerodactyl. Now, Aerodactyl. The thing that's scary about Aerodactyl, not only is it level 60, but it's going to be fast. Goes for takedown. That's that's terrifying. That is terrifying. But we are beefy. We got beefy. Jetson's beefy. Come on, ice beam. Yes, critical hit too. Oh, someone is smiling upon us in this right now. There we go. Jetson level 56. Go to use Dragon Knight. You know what? Jetson's on a roll. Let's go for that ice beam. Oh, oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's got Hyper Beam. If we live, that's good, because we'll get two hits off on it, at least, if this doesn't work out. Oh, Jetsum, you tank. Ice Beam. We get a crit and knock his dragon out in one hit anyway, so... There we go. Getting almost 3,000 experience. Lance goes down like he's absolutely nothing. I might actually have to check the time on this on this video, because I might be able to squeeze all four of these battles in one video, because we weren't even over-leveled, and that was a 62 against a 56. That's six levels. That was six levels behind, and we o code it. So it basically tells us now that we have the champion, and his name is Ryan. He just beat the Elite Four right before we did, so we gotta go face Ryan. But before we face Ryan, we gotta heal up Jetsum. So now, rival battle number eight. This is the eighth time you battle him, and it's the final time you battle him. And here's our team heading into this. We got three level 56s and three level 55s. So, what I'm thinking is we start this off with Sting. Sting's come clutch a lot more than I was expecting. He is going to be starting this battle once he is done talking, because he seems to really enjoy talking right now. And now, I am the Pokemon League Champion. Yes, I know what that means, but I'm going to beat you, so you're not the most powerful trainer. So get out of here. Alright, here we go. Ryan, he wants to fight us for the last time, because he's now the champion. He starts it off with Pidgeot, level 61. And Hopefully you guys can see why I started with Sting, because we got we got Thunder, and these moves have been clutched for us so far, so we'll Thunder hit. And I don't know how a level 56 Nidoking King outspeeds a level 61 Pidgeot. And we get a crit. This is just beautiful, guys. We are enjoying this. Now he's got an Alakazam. Definitely not Sting. Um, I am thinking for this... We haven't even seen him once this entire Elite Four, so you're going to send out Alakazam, I'm going to send out Dragonite. And I think you guys know exactly what we're going for. Let's go for Psybeam, hopefully Drake should eat this up. 
It's nothing. It's a side beam. It's not even a psychic. We're gonna go for hyper beam. Let's see if you can uh, live this with your no defense. Boom! Oh, and it's a crit. Oh my god, everything's a crit right now. I am, I am enjoying life. Got a boy Drake. Right on. Oh, we got we got something for you, buddy. We got buddy guy. Let's do this. You know what we're going for. We're going for Razor Leaf. Critical Razor Leaf in the house. Can we do it? Can it be another Oko? Oko crit. I mean, the crit's not a surprise because that looks broken in this gen. But up that, now he's got half his team left. Next, Executor. Grass Psychic type level. Uh, I'm going to assume 61. So let's go for Rush. Get level 61 Executor. Rush, who's taken on one hit on me this entire time. I'm going to go for Fly. I think Fly is a bit more powerful. Plus, we dodge the Hypnosis. Land the Fly. Oh, Executor is quite beefy. But I think it can eat up a stop. It's got no defense, but wow. And we'll end it off with a Drill Pack. Our team's too good, guys. I, I put together quite a good team. This wasn't bad. I enjoyed this team. A lot of these Pokemon is I'm actually using for the first time. And we got another chance here for Sting. So I don't think Marcel's gonna be really uh, doing much in this battle. Marcel for MVP. Wow, three Thunders in a row. Alright, seriously, Facebook, screw off. This is important. Oh, we don't Oko. We don't Oko the Gyarados. We might lose Sting, guys. Right at the end. Yeah. He, he Oko's Sting. So we lose Sting in the last fight. But Sting and Marcel, I guess you could say they're buddies, because Mar uh, Marcel needed Sting's help. So we're just gonna punch this Mega... or. Er, Mega Punch the Gyarados, not Punch the Mega Gyarados. It's Gen 1, not Gen 6. Boosted, 4300 experience. That That is enough for a level up. And last but certainly not least, we got a Charizard. Level 65. So let's get that level 65 Charizard, we got that level 56 Jetsome. Now, I could go for the safe Surf. But I'm not sure if it will Oko it. Alright, go for the Hydro Pump, which I'm sure will Oko it, but it might not hit. But we've been blessed so far. And this is dangerous because it has Slash and it's going to be a critical hit. But I think we could eat two of those up, but we land the Hydro Pump, guys. We did not miss us any of these moves. If we Oko the Charizard on the Hydro Pump. Guys. We just hit every bit of luck in this. We have defeated our rival Ryan to become the Elite Four Champion. Wow, I was not expecting that, guys. I know I trained, and obviously, you know, you, when you let's play, stuff like this happens, and it's, it's cool. But, I mean, I was not expecting that. Only losing one Pokemon in Gen 1 Elite Four? That is a first time for me. I've always struggled with this one. I think this is, honestly, a bit of a tidbit of information here. Um, I, upon doing this right now, is only my second time beating the Kanto Gen 1 Red, Blue, Yellow Elite 4. I have never done it in Pokemon Blue because my blue was uh, corrupted and it, like, didn't allow me to save, as I went over a few episodes ago or whatever, whenever, whatever video that was at 20 or 21. So I couldn't do that. And yellow, I don't know, I think by the time I really got into yellow, gold, silver, crystal had also come out. So I spent more time on that because Gen 2 is my favorite game, although Pokemon Red was my first, so it seemed fitting to do Pokemon Red for my first Pokemon Let's Play on YouTube. So, yeah, I had only previously beaten it once. I could, I could never beat Agatha because I never understood that uh, the ghost types were weak to ground and psychic types due to their poison. 
so I never brought a psychic type or a ground type or used earthquake and stuff on that. Yeah, I know, noob, but I was like six. And at that time it was Charizard, do everything! And so I always struggled, and then I could never beat the Dragonite. Hyper Beam would always get criticals and knock me out. Or I was never high enough level. But yeah. Well, I guess a little bit of Coco Love trivia for you guys. This is the second time I've ever beaten the Elite Four in an actual Gen 1 game. Obviously, I've done it in Fire Red and Leaf Green. But obviously, at that point, Generation 3. I've gotten a bit better at Pokemon. So yeah. I guess that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for joining me in this. But let us go over our team. Sting, you did great. You carried the team for a little bit during the Elite Four. More than I was hoping with Marcel. Speaking of Marcel. You came clutch on that Gyarados. You punched it. You, you, you think you took out two Pokemon. So good on you, Marcel. But you got us to the Elite Four. Rush, you were amazing. You didn't do too much in the Elite Four, but what you, what you did do stuff, it was awesome. So thank you. Buddy Guy, you've been here the longest. You are our starter. You came clutch from level 30 to level 56 with that critical raise relief. Drake, you were the most annoying one to train, but it was so worth it. So thank you. You're awesome. Hyper Beam for the win against that Alakazam. And my personal favorite, my my pick for MVP of the entire Let's Play since we got him goes to Jetson the Vaporeon, and I'm biased because Vaporeon is my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, but more on that later, as I might have a tidbit of information to share, guys. I might be releasing a top 10 favorite Gen 1 Pokemon list for you guys soon, so be prepared for that. But yeah, spoilers, Vaporeon's number one. But yeah, with that... Pokemon Red version staff, we got the credits. Now, is it our team that flies through the back, or is it just random? Nope, random, because I don't have an Arbok. So, yeah, guys, with that, Generation 1 is complete. Now, I say complete with air quotes. I know you guys can't see them, but I am doing air quotes around the word complete. We got one more episode to do after this, because obviously you guys know, it, know what's coming. We still got that Master Ball. We got that cave in Cerulean, the Cerulean Cave. That opens up once we have done what we just did now to go get ourselves Mewtwo. Which is going to be easy because we're basically just going to get to Mewtwo and throw a Master Ball. So yeah guys, thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been fun. This is my first Pokemon Let's Play. And uh, most certainly not the last because I've already planned at least up to Gen 3 what games I'll be doing. Um, so, I don't know if you guys have liked me on Facebook and that kind of stuff, but um, a couple months ago, before I, think before I started Pokemon Red, I made teaser images. I had Pokemon Red, and I had Pokemon Silver. So, yeah, Pokemon Silver is going to be my next Pokemon Let's Play. I'll be probably starting that um, in the next little while. Um, I do have another game that comes out, actually, in two days, this Tuesday, um, that I will be, obviously doing first um plus you know i don't want to do you know release the last episode of pokemon tomorrow on the 19th and then obviously on the 20th do the first episode of the next one let it digest you know get you guys a bit more psyched for it but yeah the end guys and here we go back to the title screen that incredible sound, 8-bit for the win, and that is a great little thing, because didn't we take down Gengar with our very own Sting, just like in the opening credits, guys. That was definitely not planned, I just realized that now. So here we go, back to there, we hit continue, 8 badges, 30 Pokemon owned, and here we are, back in Pallet Town. So guys, leave a like. Comment your favorite Pokemon memory that you, you've had upon, you know, your Pokemon journeys. And with that, I will meet you guys back in Cerulean City for the final episode of Pokemon Red. See you guys then. Later.